Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to Gospel Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex. And the topic for today is the voice of God. Um, I've been away for a little while. But to be honest with you, it's good to be back. I love what I do, passionate about what I do. And I'm always delighted to share the good news with my followers all over the world. I hope you're doing okay. This is Gospel Faith Television UK. So the title for today again is um, it's, um, The Voice of God. You know, back in the ancient days, God used to speak out of heaven. This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Adam, where art thou? So, in this world, we used to hear the verbal and loud voice of God coming out of heaven. But we don't hear that voice anymore. So, because we don't hear that voice anymore, does that mean God is not speaking to us anymore? That's why I would like to give you a definition of what a voice really means. A voice means a given out expressed opinion to reaction of subject or action. Moving forward, the voice of God is greater than anything in this world. In order to maneuver, in order to prosper, in order to advance in this life, you need to hear God's voice. Because as individuals, we didn't create ourselves. As individuals, we didn't create ourselves into this world. We came from a higher being, and that higher being is a divine being. It's a being that is in a, a class, a majestic class of its own. So hear me again, I say the voice of God is greater than anything in this world. God is the creator of everything. The manufacturer of everything. The originality of everything. He was there before the beginning. So if God was there before the beginning, this tells me that God knows everything pertaining or that is within involvement with this planet Earth. So the voice of God is great. Adam, where are thou? This is my only begotten son in whom I'm well pleased. The voice of God is great. How did God create this world in the first place? Sometimes I begin to wonder. And sometimes I begin to imagine. How did God create this world in, in the first place? This is a mystery. But the closest that I've come within my understanding to know how God created this world is that God created this world with his voice. Yes, because the voice of God leads to manifestations. Most definitely. Everything that God created, he spoke into existence. He did. He spoke into existence. This is real. This is real. Let there be light. And that light began to travel. Until it found its destination. It stopped. Let there be light. There was a command behind the movement or the mobility 
of that command, let there be light. So God created this world with his voice. Everything that God created didn't have life. Until he spoke them into existence. That's how this world became a reality. Let there be light. That was the voice of God that controlled the spirit. The voice of God is a spirit. It was a spirit that was behind the life that was within the light. This is deep stuff that I'm telling you, man. This is another level. This is my begotten son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear him. It's going back to that voice again. Hear him. Hear what? His voice. Hear the voice of Jesus Christ. It can take you to greater heights. It can save your life. Of course, I am Pastor Jimba Alex. You know that. We use the voice to hear. You have to listen out for the voice of God. These are massive instructions. We didn't create ourselves. We came into this world of fire. The word of God, the voice of God. Sometimes the angels, they're in heaven. They're looking at God. They're not moving. They're waiting for that voice. So when God says, Angel Gabriel, he turns. God says, blah, 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 go and do this, go and do that. Now there's movement. There's reason. There's power in the voice of God. Adam, where are thou? Adam began to... Adam began to shook. Adam was shaking. Where are thou? He, he knew that he's committed a crime. Adam, where are thou? Adam became vulnerable. Adam, where are thou? He's acting suspicious. It's the voice of God again. The voice of God comes to achieve. The voice of God comes to you with, with purpose. Adam, where are thou? Now I understand why the Pastor Jimba Alex enemies all over because you know what <laughs> as long as you're in this life if you like it or not you've got enemies King David has got enemies Jesus Christ had enemies God has got an enemy the devil God's got enemies sinners of this world so why would the pastor Jimba Alex have enemies? I've got enemies all over the world. Do I know who they are? No. But they're still there. But what I do know is that previously, when I was growing up in London, right here, South London precisely, my enemies won't let me speak. They try to subdue me. Whenever I say a little, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reason. I'm trying to contribute. I'm trying to communicate. They say, shut up. They subdue me. They don't want, it. They, don't want my, they, want, they don't want my voice to be heard. That was bad. My enemies won't let me speak. But you know what? Now, the world listens to Pastor Jimba Alex. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know about Pastor Jimba Alex? You're lying. Pastor Jimba Alex YouTube, Pastor Jimba Alex Facebook, Pastor Jimba Alex Twitter, Pastor Jimba Alex Google. You must have heard of Pastor Jimba Alex. You must have heard of the Pastor Jimba Alex's educative tuitions. Of course you have. Don't even act like you haven't heard of Gospel Faith Television UK. If you, haven't heard of, if you haven't heard of Gospel Faith Television UK, it means you, you don't reside in this world. You live on a different planet, bro. <laughs> Serious things. Serious things. Like 
they were saying in the Caribbean. Serious things, you know. Serious things. You must have heard of Gospel Faith Television UK. Yeah, because I do global lectures. I do global lectures. Through Christ who strengthens me. I don't do these global lectures because I'm more intelligent than anybody else. I don't do these global lectures because I'm more educated than anybody else. I only do these global lectures because of the enablement. Because of the enablement and the opportunities that came through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I do global I do I do lectures in universities in London speeches University of East London they know me of which I'm grateful to God for and about so the voice of God has opened ways for me and the voice of God if you adhere or if you believe or if you submit yourself to if you become obedient to the voice of God doors will begin to open Whew. doors will begin to open that's why I said don't act like you don't know what I'm saying or don't act like you don't know what gospel faith television is all about gospel faith television UK is there to motivate and inspire the whole world you heard it here yes you heard it G yeah you heard it the voice of God can never fail. God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to free the Israelites, the children of God, from their bondages. A spiritual prison. Moses, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. That is deep. Moses heard the voice. Moses heard that voice. Wow. Interesting. Intriguing. It's the voice of God that feeds me. I'm legit. The voice of God feeds me. The voice of God clothes me. A fashion icon, Pastor Jimba Alec. It's the voice of God that, that feeds me and clothes me. How are you going to beat me? It's impossible, man. It's impossible. Moses, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. What a wonderful voice that was. What a majestic voice that was. That voice not only came with instructions, that voice came with victory. Also, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. The voice of God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh <laughs> to, go, to let my people go. It was the voice of God. That made the wall of Jericho fall down. You wouldn't understand it. But I'll tell you how. Because the Bible might not explain this. When God told the children of Israel to keep on circling and keep on walking and running around the wall of Jericho, God never told them to touch the wall physically. He said to them, Listen to me, do as I say. Just keep on walking around the wall of Jericho and keep on praising me. And suddenly, the wall of Jericho collapsed. It was the voice of God that collapsed. The wall of Jericho. So it's like the obedience and the praise coming from the children of Israel intertwined with the voice of God in heaven. And God said, fall, collapse. And the wall suddenly fell. That was a miracle. That was the voice of God at work. You got that? So me, me personally, I listen to the voice of God. How do you like me now? Am I perfect? Nope. 
Am I perfect? Far from it. But I'm still learning. How? Because the voice of God is my teacher. Why? Because I can't achieve nothing in this life by myself, on my own accord. I rely on the voice of God. I have to be reliable. On the voice of God. I have to be reliable on the voice of God. I don't have a choice. Because human beings will let you down. Of course they will. I don't listen to human beings no more. We have a chat. We have a conversation. I'm like, okay. Is that how you see it? Or is that how it's going to play out? Okay. Thank you very much. We shake hands, blah, blah, blah. That's the end of it, man. I go back to my God. God, what should I do? God, what should I do? Tell me. I listen to human beings no more. Human beings are, are deceptive and dangerous, secretive and wicked. I'm telling you. I don't listen to human beings no more. And furthermore, I don't listen to human gossip anymore. Oh, he said this. Oh, she did that. Blah, 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 blah. Leave me alone. The voice of God has made me a pastor. She said this. He did that. Oh, he looks this way. Oh, he don't have that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah. Leave me alone. I'm working on Gospel Faith Television UK. Ha, 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 ha. Yo. <laughs> That's what's up. <clears throat> Even if I have to get a loud speaker and scream it in your ears until you hear it. Yo, leave me alone. <laughs> now you got the message. So basically, I'm saying I cannot be misled or miseducated anymore. Why? Because I listen to the voice of God. You've been watching Gospel Faith Television UK and the topic for today has been the majestic voice of God. It's called the voice of God, but I even add to that title. I call it the majestic voice of God. One more piece of notice. I want to notify you on something. I've, I've actually written 21 books and I'm actually taking a break from writing because yeah. I can still do loads more in the future but I wrote this book it's called The Cold World yeah The Cold World is written by Pastor Jimba Alex and it's on Amazon glory be to God this book is on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you tap in Pastor Jimba Alex, The Cold World, you can support me that way. And I, I pray that this book blesses you. And when you read The Cold World, written and published by Pastor Jimba Alex, you would even hear more of the voice of God. Thanks for watching. Gospel Faith Television UK Enough love Enough love Thank you Thank you boss Take care